station life. You good to go? All right. Welcome, everybody, to Season 3, Episode 28 of The Movement Podcast. We are officially live and ready to get the show on the road. Man, you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like to show my emotion whenever there's guests here because you want to treat everybody fairly, and that's the right way to do it. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was excited about today's show for a minute now, man, because the lineup that we have for you guys today is exciting. Not only do we have a star in a lineup of guests, but we also have, have a star in a lineup of dessert to review today. So let me go ahead and give a shout out as who's in the building. Let me start off with Ramsey Ali in the back, always on the ones and twos. Uh, we appreciate Ramsey, the nephew. Next to him, you got little big bro Yusuf Dad, but he was about to be next to us. But we have a special, another special guest showing up today. So we're going to uh, go ahead and let him come when he does come. Next to Yusuf, we got brother Aziz in the building as well, former NFL player. He's just here just to support and just to see how things are going. Uh, inshallah, we'll get him on a podcast show soon, though. You know what I'm saying? We got to book him on, uh, you know, on a podcast show. But, you know, we got NFL players in here. Uh, to the right of me, we got used to be called Big Homs, but he's no longer Big Homs anymore. We can't do that anymore. Trademark purposes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so he's just Homs. Might be called Little Homs, you know, depending on the comments that he gives or, you know, what he says. Uh, then to the right of me, you got Yaqeen, a.k.a. Kenny the Food Panda. Go ahead and give him a round of applause. You know, we got the audience in the building as well. Yeah, you know, you know they, they stop at the same time, the audience. Come on. They clap at the same time and stop at the same time. They're very professional. Yeah. All right, bro. Just let me know when to stop waving. All right, yeah. Just about like two second wait. <laughs> of course, you got myself, Omar T. And then to the left of me, we got Big Homs. Homs Reviews in the building. Yes, sir. Hey, round of applause. See how they stop right at the same time right there. Uh, so then, you know, next to Big Homs, we might have HFJ pull up. I don't want to guarantee anything, but Halal Food Junkie might be pulling up as well. Inshallah, he does. We would have the three pretty much biggest male, for sure, food influencers in the building. Some of the biggest male food influencers in this Detroit, Dearborn, Hamtramck area, uh, state of Michigan. So, you know, subhanAllah, how, you know, life works. You know, I try to get one, we end up getting two, and we might end up getting three. Uh, so today we're going to talk about all about what does it take to be a good food review person, you know, food influencer. Uh, and then at the end of the show, we got to give a shout out to Treat You Better. We have Treat You Better cookies in front of me. They're going to, uh, you know, dessert review that one. We have Dairy Fairies Cafe. They brought cupcakes and they brought cake as well. And then we also have Spoonful of Pudding. Obviously, they brought their pudding as well. So we got three different dessert places we would love for them to food review here live on the show. I'm only laughing because if y'all know Big Homs, he keeps it real. And, you know, these places, they were worried because, you know, it's going to be towards the end of the show. And so, the, you know, some things might melt. I told him we'll put it in the fridge and this and that. So Homs, maybe just take that into consideration a little bit. Just you. want to throw that out there when you, you do your reviews. Uh, shout out to those businesses. Shout out to our personal sponsors as well. Of course, uh, you know, we got Juice Box, Kahwa House. BC Adhesives, Hanley International Academy, Specialty Medical Center, uh, and then we got um, Sidbees. So shout out to all of our sponsors, Yusuf. So let's start off with Sidbees, and then we're going to officially get the show on the road. So shout out to Sidbees. All right, Yusuf, it looks like we have a little dilemma in our hands. We have this deliciously smelling sabaya right in front of us, but it looks like we're missing one important thing. Yeah, it looks like we're missing some acid, you know, some honey. And you know where the best place to go to for honey? That is Sid the Bees. Sid the Bees is a remarkable company that stands at the forefront of the honey industry. With an unwavering commitment to quality, being authentic, and sustainability, Sid the Bees has carved its name as a trusted provider of premium honey products. The company's dedication to preserving the purity of honey is evident in every jar they produce. Sid the Bees sets a standard that goes beyond taste. It's a brand that captures nature's essence and brings it to the discerning consumers who appreciate the true goodness that honey offers. Sid Bees is not just a honey company, it's a testament to the beauty of nature and the passion to deliver excellence in every drop. Alright, we're officially back and ready to get this show rolling, alright? So, uh, like I said... Full house, looking forward to it today, looking forward to the guests in the building. Uh, so I'm going to start off to the guy right here to the right of me. First of all, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do, you know, your nine to five. And then, you know, also, you know, tell us why you decided to jump into this food review. Uh, I don't want to call it a business if you want to call it that, but maybe the food review influencing. 
First of all, my name is uh, Yaqin al Um People call me Kenny. So that's where I put Kenny with the food panda. Yeah. Um, my nine to five, uh, I'm an entrepreneur. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, the way I got into this food rating thing, I, w- I seen Big Hams one day at Jabal. And uh, I was telling him, man, I always wanted to do this. I just didn't know how to take the step. And we were talking about some uh, Yemeni restaurant, uh, Sheba. And I was like, man, you know, I'm the guy to do it with you, Big Hams. So he's like, hey, why don't you start by putting a couple posts? You already have the page. Everything is ready to go. And then, inshallah, we, you know, we'll get to it and uh, maybe we can review it together. I never had the courage, never had the time. And I kept telling myself, man, when is this going to start? I would notice it when I would go on my Instagram and I have like six different accounts. And the last one is always Kenny the Food Panda. Zero post, zero followers. Like, when is this going to start? So then one day when I got home after talking to Big Hams, I'm like, Ramadan, I'm always eating. So this is my opportunity. <laughs> this is my opportunity. There's no excuse. Yes, sir. You know, when it's not Ramadan, you're like, man, you got to work. You know, you're eating already throughout the day. So there's no, you can eat anytime you want. But now it's like I'm set. So who is here? Everyone's eating. So then I started this first place. I was like, you know what? Let me go to Pimp and Shrimp. Big Hams went there. Um, Ahmed Chamander went there. A couple guys went there. I was like, you know what? I can start doing me. So, man, I'm in the back of my Mercedes Benz thinking, <laughs> this is going to be easy. <laughs> Take 20. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, bro. The food is cold. It's not even about the food. Bro. I didn't even touch the food yet. Forget the food, bro. The food's sitting on my the right of me, man. I'm, I'm, the guys are in front of me that are video camera. They're looking at it like, Yaqeen, when, is it, when are you going to start? I met him. I get to a point. I'm like, you know what, guys? I'm going to try. And then when I actually start trying, the guys that are recording me start laughing. Nothing is popping that's, off. That's the worst, too. But Nothing is popping off. And I was like, man. And then I thought about Big Hams. He always does everything from his hand and doesn't need anyone to record sometimes. And I like that. I was like, when I'm talking to myself, you know, and I'm looking at the, uh, the, the phone, it's going to be much easier yes. than when someone's putting it on me. So I was like, yo, we got to get through this. We have to. First food, the first thing that I ate, I remember I think it was the, it was the shrimp uh, sub or something like that. I'm taking a bite out of it. I was like... In my mind, like, haram if I give them a bad review. This is cold. <laughs> oh, Allah. Oh, Allah. I, am, I, I can't bash them like that, man. <laughs> well, I can't. This is my fault. And I'm telling myself in my head, and the guys that watch me, they love the food. But I was like, Gama, this is crack. This is this. This is that. From that first day, I went through my bloopers. And I'm telling myself, guys, people know me. This is not me. They know how I act. They know how I am. People are going to be like, yo, we don't want the other side of you. We want Kenny. Yeah. The guy that we see every day and we talk to every day. So the next post came, which I think it was Jebel. And oh my God, man. I had a blister on my mouth, a couple of red spots. I was like, you know what? Maybe this can put me in a position where it doesn't even matter. Because if I'm already showing my lips busted red, I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Oh, my God, bro. It got worse. I'm in the little cubicle room at Jebel, and I'm thinking I'm Don Carleone or someone special. <laughs> Sitting there, I'm like, man, I'm putting my hands together thinking that I'm in, a, I'm in a meeting. Guys, this is not me. I'm drinking these drinks, and I love them. Big Hams. Shout out to Big Hams on that Jebel review. He, he's the one that made me love those drinks. Um, yeah, shout out to man. Shout out to you know Big Hams and you, man. You guys are doing you guys are doing good work for the community. You know work that you know obviously um, it's helping them and assisting them. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. And to be honest with you, um, and some, HFJ by the way, I gotta give yeah. a shout out to Halal Food Junkie. HF, HFJ, a good buddy of mine. I've known him for about five six years. Uh, I always love what he did. Um, he always uh, helps a lot of businesses, small businesses grow, and you gotta be behind that. Um, does not matter. You can't hate someone like that. Yeah, honestly, you can't. No, you can't. He's 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 a good cat. You know what I'm saying? He's yes, he is. Guy. But it's his job. Yes, he is. You, got, you can't forget that part. It's not like he's doing a, a, like his heart. Like no offense, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you straight up. 
It's a job. So he gets paid. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So, yeah, he's uplifting the community. He does a great job at it, but it's also his job. You know what I'm saying? Welcome, difference. everybody, to Big Hounds Reviews, by the way. I just want to introduce him. What's up, guys? Uh, just want to throw that out there. Uh, same question for you, but you can continue on what you were saying, too. But, you know, tell us, you know, how, what's your origin story as well, and, and how did you get started with your Big Hounds Reviews? So, I'm not trying to diss HFJ or anything. I'm just trying to, like, tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, he's a promoter. There's a difference between a food reviewer and a promoter. Him and Detroit Hale each are the same thing, but they're... Like her, her content, I give a shout out to the Hanan. Her content is amazing. I yeah. love her content. She does perfect videos. She edited something. Like she's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I love Abe, but like all he does is like, he doesn't edit nothing. He just goes straight at it. You know? He's raw with it. That's what's different. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. And then, uh, uh, let's see. For Big Hums Reviews, the reason why I started, <laughs> um, I got sick of people like, so you know how HFJ does a review? Wow, 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 every five seconds. He's a promoter. I didn't know that at first. I just thought he was a reviewer. I was going to the places that he's going to, trying out the food and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why am I wasting my money here? I'm like, F it. I'm going to go do my own thing. And I started my own reviews because I trust myself and I trust my reviews. And then, alhamdulillah, slowly and slowly it popped off. And then uh, one of them that broke like the barrier for me was doing the first ever corner in the corner when they did the tent. You know how they're so hyped up? Yeah. I went there, and I got the food, and it was bad. All of it was bad. And I called them out for it. That, that video went from zero to 22,000 in one night. Reviews. Uh, views. And then they, were, they kept trying to like call me and shit, and I didn't want to answer. My brother's like, listen, you have two options. Either you grow up here, you continue on big homes, or you cave in and delete everything right now. Your brother said that? Yeah, Mo. Shout out to Mo, my brother. He told me, he's like, if you, he's like, you have two options. Either you cave in and you delete the page and like, you say sorry and everything, or you grow a pair and stick with it. And I was like, okay, he's right. And I just did the letter, and then alhamdulillah, I'm where I'm at now. So for those that are at home that don't know, Big Homs, he, he, what's, your, what's, your, what's your line and your slogan? Uh, always honest, never bullshit. Always honest, never bullshit. So that's his line. And he really does stick with it, man. And like, you know, alhamdulillah, I've been able to, you know, follow you, especially these last few months and seeing the work that you do. And I'd be laughing, man. I laugh because, like, you just keep it real. Mm. And, you know, it's different. Everybody is different. And, and nothing wrong, like, like you said, what HFJ is doing. He's doing the business side of it, which is, you know, kudos to him. Job. Yeah. I highly, bro, he found a niche and that's no, like, no one knows about it. And it's beautiful what he does. Yeah. Doing. He's a genius. Like, yeah. He truly is a, a genius. You know yep. what he's doing, you know? For sure. For sure. He's doing a great job, you know? And then you got Kenny that does, you know, what scoring rating, right? That's what you do. That's your goal. So you rate stuff by uh, a rating system, scoring system. Uh, but Big Hounds Reviews, you want the uncut version of, you know, a response. Big Hounds Reviews is the guy. Mm. Do you ever get people, like, let's be honest right now. When people see you, they get worried. Like, oh, snap. Like, yo, I, I got to make sure... You know what I'm saying? Like, do you see it in them? Or do you, you, does people like, when people reach out to you, be like, hey, you know, can you, you know, be a little bit nice this time around? Or how does that work? Um, a lot of people tell me that. And then tell me, uh, uh, for example, um, hey, I'm doing this, 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 this. Like, I'm, not, I'm like, listen, I want the average experience. So what I'm going to get. I don't care what about you. I don't care. Like, that's how you straight up. And then, um, hmm. What was the other question? I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, like, how, what's the reactions when they see you? Like, do people be like, oh, man, we got to get it together? So uh, I, I see that impact when I walk in. As soon as I walk in, like the owners and the, the workers realize it, and they tell everybody right away. Like I see it happen before. And then, uh, like for example, one time, uh, you know, guys ever tried Buff's Pizza? Yes. Yeah, I like Buff's Pizza. I do. Yeah, they're pretty good. So I went there one time just to go get food for myself and my cousin. And then the girl see me, she's like, "Oh no!" And I was like, "What happened?" She's like, <laughs> "The owner doesn't. Want, she's like, the owner said not to serve you until uh, he's back or something." <laughs> I was like, no, no, I'm good. Don't worry. It's not a review. I'm just getting food for my family. I said, oh, thank God, man. Just walked away. That's funny. It was cool, man. It's cool. It that like, boy putting fear in business's eyes. Yeah, she, she, was like, she was like, man, they done told us you're coming. We just didn't know when. They go get, get fired that's uh, what on I the did. job. Yeah. No, that's what's up, though, man. All jokes aside, man, these guys uh, do a great work, like I said, in the community. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and ask specific questions to the both of you right quick. You know, I'm going to start off with you, Kenny. Uh, so you're just getting started. What is it that you want to accomplish with your food reviews, man? What's the top thing that you want to accomplish? To be honest with you, um, it's fun. Um, as long as uh, I keep myself happy while I'm doing it, that's all that matters. Yeah. Um, uh, like I said, I started off a little bit uh, tight on myself, trying to act like I'm someone that I'm not. Uh, but now I feel like uh, I'm more lenient on myself. I'm being me. Um, and like I said, like you were talking about the score, 
guys, it's simple. I have a scoring rating because if I'm giving someone a five, it's basically saying don't go to their restaurant. Mm. Simple. Um, big Hams, mashallah, Ali, you know, uh, uh, he's, he's cutting not, no bushes, straight over, jumping over and letting them know, hey, this is, this, is, this is what it is. I'm not letting you guys blow your money. With me, it's, I just started. I probably got like 15 posts, but I think sooner or later, I'm going to be able to talk about, hey, what, why I gave them this rating, what's different of the food. Yeah. And um, I'm just, uh, at this point, I'm just uh, blessed to be uh, speak around with uh, HFG and Big Hams. Uh, knowing that I just started l literally a month ago. Yeah, no, Allah ain't man. And I do want to make sure that big, uh, little Hams, I'm so sorry, I almost came out, man. We're real talk. We used to go, oh, <laughs> big Hams, it's uh, Hams, we're going to stick with Hams. Uh, no, real talk, great young man right here, man. Uh, but you know, I know you follow both of them, or at least you, you know what's going on, yeah. even with HFJ. What are your thoughts, man? Man, shout out to all of them, man. Like, every, every time I go to a restaurant, it's because of them. I go, I go, I check the reviews out. I'm like, all right, which restaurant do I go to? I see what their food they get, and I get the food, and this always ends up being good, especially your reviews. And your, I saw a few years, amazing subs. I still gotta try that out. I, I saw you; it was good. But yeah. So, uh, how often do you think people actually use these guys' reviews to actually like see what they're gonna get? Like, do you think it's more often than not? I think so, often, really often. All my friends look at their pages to see where we're going. You know what's funny is I don't ever use Google anymore, man. And anytime I want a place to eat, like I just go to one of the food influencers' pages and see what y'all review. And is that what you think is the new trend, man, now? is like no more Google. Like, I mean, obviously, if you're looking up a restaurant to see, you might see the rev like stars. But if you're looking for like specific things to eat and where you want to go and stuff like that and like ratings, I'm not going to lie. I go to you guys' pages. Do you think it's the new thing, new trend? It is a new trend. That's like, uh, like Kenny's. The way I've, people have told me to do numbers, I don't see the point of it. I just, no offense, no offense. No. I no. think it's dumb. Because, for example, your boy, your boy SUA, you try digging chicken. No, yeah, bro, it's a it's a it's a six six. You can't say that. What the fuck's a six six? It's my bad. <laughs> say I say yeah, it's badass. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? If that's why that's my 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 my, my rating scale is big hams approved, big hams not approved. That's it. And whenever I go to a restaurant, uh, you should try this out. Get more than one item. Cause you yeah, get, that's that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Get more than one item because you can't base the whole restaurant off one item. Yeah, but you gotta understand, big hams sometimes. You give it a not approved, you'd be like, man, what kind of salad was this? Man, what kind of cheese they have in this? Mm -hmm. So that's why I also say, hey, if I'm giving a rating scale, I don't want to basically thrash out what type of cheese they had, what type of lettuce they had, what type of tomato they had, what type of bread they're using. You could cash or call them up and say, hey, I don't like this on the salad. Hey, I don't like this on that. Yeah. I'm straight up. Yeah, that's, that, that's the only reason why I do, I do the rating. And, you know, I'm still trying to, like, bring up, hey, why I gave it that rating. Uh, just later down the line, I feel like uh, I'm going to open up and it's going to be a little bit more easier for me. Mm. Because like I said, I was uh, introduced and brought together, knowing you guys already for a long period of time. Um, I'm just trying to get started, basically. I want to give you a warning, though. If you are well known in the community and you do these reviews. I already know. You're gonna piss off some people. Oh, I already know. I don't know nobody in the community. I I can I couldn't care less about. I'm not going. I'm not gonna. People. I'm How not can you say you don't know anybody in the community though, man? Don't you feel like the community knows you though? They know me. People know me. It's a cool. It listen. The, the feeling mm. is pretty cool. But me personally, growing up, I was always a quiet kid. I'm never connected with anybody. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I don't have any connections toward any businesses. Now after the reviews, yeah, because the people that I do good reviews for, the owners come to me all the time. Like we always talk back and forth. Because I love their product. They actually care about their product. Other people are just trying to chase a bag. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. People who have passion and people who are chasing a bag are two different things. Their food is not going to be as amazing as people who have a passion for it. Yeah, that's about it. So we got Kenny the Food Panda here. He might even have some future maybe influencers out here. What advice would you give them? Like, what's one thing that you learned from the process from when you started till now? Like, you'd be like, hey, this is something that you should definitely focus on and, and look into when you're trying to start your own page. So on your own page, like I told Kenny, content, 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 content. I told you that in Ramadan, when Ramadan was still there, I told you post as much places as you can because that's the it's hot right now. Yes, you did. Food, food reviews in Ramadan are hot. That's where all my... Because like, everybody's I, I get, hungry? Yes, yeah, sir. I get a big boost in that one. Though. For example, uh, your your review your views go from anywhere from like mine. As soon as I would drop it, go from zero to like a thousand. Now it's going zero to like three thousand, four thousand Ramadan. And then at the end, like at the end of the day, it's like double digits. You know what I'm saying? It's small, but alhamdulillah, it's better than nothing. Yeah. And then you come up with a slogan, 
come up with like your own rating system and come up with your being just yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah, to, to, to be honest with you, I never gave a thought. And hashtags. You know that, right? Hashtags. I never gave a thought. So when I just made the page, I never even got into detail. Hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I kind of basically looked at HFJ, Big Hams, Detroit Halal Eats, and I'm like, you know what? I got to do this. Yeah. So that's why I started to do this. I mean, any advice that I would get to any future influencers, just be you. Be you. Yep. Just be you. Be you. I mean, if you feel like that, hey, you have to do 20 different bloopers or 20 different takes, 30 different takes, it is what it is. Maybe you want to help out some businesses, but at the end of the day, if the food ain't tasting right, don't let people spend their money there. Yes, sir. That's basically it. That's the whole point, man. All right, well, there you go. We're, 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 we're going to do a quick break right quick, man. This is a nice. This is us. You know, we're being nice right now. Everybody's being nice and calm. We're going to turn up now from the second to third part of the show. Uh, before we do that, though, let's give a shout out to Kawa House. And I don't care what Big Hounds Reviews has to say, man. All right, Kawa House is a sponsor, so we support Kawa House and we love Kawa House. Are you guys coming? I love Kawa House. All right, just want to make sure, man. Thank me. God. Thank God. Thank I'm God. I'm going to say to you better or something, man. Yeah, no, no. Uh, Kawa House. I was mess- I just want to mess with you, Big Hounds, man. Uh, uh, so shout out to Kawa House, and then we're going to keep things rolling, man. You know, if you're ever in need for some coffee, then you have to stop by the best place in the country. You know what that is, Yusuf? Yeah, man, it's got to be the Kawa House. It's definitely the Kawa House. It's the first Yemeni coffee shop of its kind. You can stop by Kawa House to try their famous Yemeni lattes, Adeni Shahis, Mafawad, and Jubini coffees. You can also stop by to try their delicious pastries, such as the Yemeni favorite Sabaya, Everything Mini Bites, and they even serve sambusas. They have locations in Michigan, New Jersey, New York, and Illinois with more locations coming to a state near you. So no matter where you're at in the country, be sure to stop by Kahwa House and get a glimpse of what the Yemeni culture is all about. Also, don't forget to download the new Kahwa House app. You can now order your coffee and go, skipping the line entirely. It's like having your own personal barista. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're officially back. We're gonna start off with the debate that started from Brother Aziz over here. He used to had him. He had him in a great debate, and then we were like, you know what? Let's get the show started. And then we got the show started, and it was, you know, we talked about who has the hottest carrot cake in town, man. And there was an argument happening in here. Uh, chairs were being thrown because it got serious. Uh, no, but all jokes aside. You know, what was your answer, Kenny? You, you had somebody different than uh, Big Hams over here. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, come on. I'm just trying to say, I talked to Abdullah and Ray at Corner on the Corner, and I told them, man, when I got my carrot cake, where was the cream at? They didn't skimp me on that one. And I was like, I always loved the carrot cake at Texas G Brazil in downtown. I always got it. Anytime I wanted a uh, carrot cake, I got it from there. And then when I went back the second time, <laughs> it was funny. Ray literally took all that cream that I wanted and put it on the side of the cake. Yeah. I opened the box. I'm like, oh, that's how you're doing me now. It's like, yeah, you wanted some extra cream. I gave it to you. I looked it right on the side. I put it on the cake, and it was bomb. Yeah. It was bomb. You got corn on the corner. Corn, that's the best cake, carrot, carrot cake I've ever had. Me too. I'm not going to lie. It's so moist. It is. so dense. The cream, I see what you mean. As long as you could like, stuff it in there. Oh my God! Yeah, Dennis, else, hey, man. hey, this is super. <laughs> hey, 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 you didn't just give some ideas right now. <laughs> that, hey, now that's now that's what a carrot cake needs. Mm-hmm. If you got that cream, I mean, that's that first thing that we're taking a bite of is the cream because you, know, you know carrot cake in the middle it's very dry. Is it really? So, yeah. His was it? His was yeah. so soft and yeah. moist and dense. No, no, man, the softness is softness, but you know when you chew it in your mouth when that cream comes with it, that's that taste that I want to taste. But when he gave it to me on the side, that was funny. Hamza, do you have an opinion on carrot cakes and, you know, out, out there? I feel, man, I feel like carrots should not be on cake or a mix. <laughs> I don't like vegetables. It's a vegetable, right? Hey, bro, it's me, not actual carrots, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's made with this, like, is the, this is the quick question, bro. What year were you born? <laughs> 2005. See, see, these guys. 2005? Are, see? Oh, I'm sorry, but you don't got where to speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, bro. See, Come on, bro. See, they're probably still liking the milk cake, what this era's eating now. We might actually have a milk cake coming up. Yeah, so day. what's your favorite cake? I like chocolate. I'm a simple guy. Chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate, chocolate with chocolate fudge, chocolate chips. What's oh, my, man. You know what I'm saying? Brother, okay. I was agreeing with you in the back. Oh, no, no. no you know no, what? No, no, what's your favorite cake? Oh, uh, carrot cake. Really? Oh, yeah, cool. that's why you asked the question. It was, it was you know what? One time I ate a fudge cake after watching Matilda. Miss Trunchbull, her carrot cake, right. made that kid eat it, and then they gave him the over. I was like, man, I want some of that. And then I ate one. I was like, man, that didn't even taste right, bro. I'm, you ever have Edamons? 
No. You never had Edmund's cake? No. That's in a blue box, you know what I'm yeah. talking about? The fudge on top. So my so my brother safe, he's actually he loves dessert. Mm. Every time we eat inside the house, we are literally eating and like laying down. That's it. We're not eating anything ever. You watch him eating a bowl of cereal, eating some chocolate, eating an ice cream, eating this. I don't know what gave him the taste buds, but it just seemed like that me and my brother's other brother, we were skimmed. He's the one that got that little dessert feeling. So one day I was telling him, hey, uh, let's go out and have some dessert. This guy, all I want is ice cream. All I want is this. This guy wants the whole nine yards. He wants a waffle. He wants the pancake. He wants the little drizzle on it. Man, bro, I can't do it. So then he started telling me this. It just hit me. He's like, why don't you stop eating so much so then you can crave some dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I never thought about that. Yeah. That's a good idea. So I did it one time. And I was work? like, you ain't never lie. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's, that's a good point. Uh, Big Homs, you know, you always keep it honest. You always keep it real. You know, why? Why do you feel the need, you know, to straight up tell it how it is, no matter what the circumstance may be? Hmm. Yeah, I hit you with that one, man. That was a good one. I mean, I guess it's pretty simple, right? I mean, you just you want to make sure that the, you know, the customers are getting what they deserve. I mean, I'm so assuming. This doesn't only go in... Uh, food reviews. This is just my everyday life. Nice. I used to I used to be a liar when I was a kid, and it, it led me down a bad path. And then I realized that lying it does nothing but hurt you. Literally, it does nothing but hurt you. So now I integrated into my, into my life where I don't lie. Like you could ask any of my family, I'll tell them exactly what's happening. Tell me exactly what am I doing. Uh, it's, I don't like lying. And then. Uh, uh, been doing rev like reviews it's always good to be honest there's too many like liars man and people love honesty people love the rawness people love the you being yourself and that's what it is you know it's interesting that you say that so like for instance let's say there's a restaurant that obviously didn't get a they didn't get big homes uh, approved mm -hmm. um do you give them another chance yes okay i've done that before yeah i've done that plenty like uh, uh i'm so always does it big home big homes 2.0 yeah, okay. I always do update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. always. That's what I love about him. I can do another update, but then I, like, I don't, I don't call up the owner and tell him, "Hey, I'm coming." I never do that. Uh, even the owners hit me up, say, "Hey, let me know when you're coming." Why? I want the average job because if I send my my people, my my uh, followers, I want them to get that experience. That yeah, get, you know. Another yeah. shout out. Another shout. Sorry to cut you guys. Another shout out is to Cheap Beast Mode, Ahmed Chamander. Yeah. You gotta love that dude. Yeah, you gotta no, love good that guy, dude. good guy. He's uh, I know him from the basketball league, Ahmed Shamander. Uh, yeah, yeah, he he's he's given me a lot of places to go try and a lot of places to make sure. Hey, taste this, taste this, taste this, and you know what? So far, so good. Him and Big Hums, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. He, I don't trust people when it comes. To, no, sorry, cut you off. I don't trust people when it does reviews. Like you are skeptical. Ash Commander, I was, he was skeptical as hell. Big Halal Apple, I'm skeptical. Like I don't trust these cats because. Uh, I just hate people lie. You know what I'm saying? But after a minute with Shamander, he don't lie. He yeah, of course. Up. You, you know, you, you, you still, and when, as soon as I see a negative review, you're good. In my eyes, you're good. You did a negative review. Shamander did a negative review. You guys are good because you guys are honest. You know. Um, is there a specific time that you'd recommend for people to, uh, you know, get food? Like, do you think people do a better job during lunch, during dinner? Is there breakfast? I never did really lunch because I'm at work every day. So okay. dinner is probably the best bet for me. All right. How about you? Do you have a preference or do you think that's just a matter it matters what the restaurant's serving? To be honest with you, um, to me, it's every day it's different. So I don't choose a restaurant to go to. It just, it's what I'm feeling that day, what I want to eat. So then it's crazy. Then I take a look at Big Homs, take a look at HFJ, take a look at, you know, Cheap Beast Mode, see what they've eaten before. And hey, if I want to sub, then I look at hey, a good place that they ate, so then I can review it. So it's not I don't I'm not doing it based off hey, let me go to the Instagram. These guys never did this. Guys never did this. No, I'm actually still watching these guys. So I'm still basically I'm shadowing on how these guys are doing stuff. And yes, sometimes uh, they would say something tastes good, and I and I didn't like it. I just that's taste buds. Mm. So that's that's where I'm focusing. And when it comes down down to the time of day, it's hard, you know. I'm a married man. I've been married for 13 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hold it. Alhamdulillah. How 13 years, huh? Yeah. I got married at 17 and a half. Oh. In America? In America. Nice. Yeah, I mean, 
Don't let them know this. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know if that's is it illegal to get married. Is it? I don't even know. Well, uh, I don't know. Is it? I don't even know. Weird, bro. That's it. No, 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 no. Well, well, <laughs> no. Alhamdulillah. You know, it's Can the best thing. 30? The best thing I've ever done. I'm 32. Smallah. Yeah. I'm turning 32. How, how old are you? Wow. I thought. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you oh, were my 25. Bad. My bad. Thank, we, he thought I was 25. Get my. Hey. You look young. 35. Yeah. I know 30 years. You look old. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, Appreciate my bad. you. I'm sorry, baby. What'd you say? And I was gonna say, how old are you? 26. Wow. Yeah. Small uh, yeah, mashallah. Yeah. Young 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 fella. I, and yeah, I mean I figured we were close in age. What year did you graduate? 09? 2010. Oh, t- really? No, 2009. Okay. Yeah, I'm 2010. Yeah. Why you say it like you knew or something? You already Because I know I was just waiting for you to say something. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh with that said, um let's talk about some places. Let's let's give some a uh, shout outs. Like let's break it down to category. Best burger that you guys have ever had. Best burger in town. So cheesy. So cheesy. Mm-hmm. The truffle burger. Why? Uh, and I don't know, man. The, probably the way he does his meat, I guess. The, the, as soon as you, so you ever have that feeling when you take a bite into something and it just like it kicks you in the face? You know what I'm saying? Like I took that first bite. Oh, I was like, oh my god! You know, like that. It was delicious. So cheesy. How about for you? Oh man, it's very tough for me right now. I think I've only done like four, four, three, four places with burgers, but. Just in general, though, maybe you tried a burger in the past that you weren't reviewing, just ate, you know? I mean, uh, I like Brome. Brome's good. Yeah. That Wagyu burger's great. Yeah, I like that Wagyu burger. It's very good. Um, you taste it. You, you know, you taste in the meat. Uh, a lot of places, um, they have specialty burgers. Uh, you know, this one's a barbecue. This one's a Southwest one. It's all sauce instead of when it compares to you tasting the meat. Mm-hmm. But uh, Brome, Brome is definitely, definitely up there. Hams, you got a review for us? Man, I had a lot of burgers, bro. Come on, man. We'll be talking. <laughs> uh, probably, I, ha- I had top, like, I-, I don't know if it's one, but Corner on the Corner had good burgers. Yeah. They had good burgers. And also Iceberg. I don't know if you guys been to Iceberg before. Yeah, I've been to Iceberg before. Uh, don't, no, don't, yeah. don't show him. No. Don't show him. We like Iceberg. Say it out, Joker. You can do what you got to do. I did Iceberg. <laughs> they were cracked because the owner was there. I went back. It was probably one of the worst burgers I've ever had. You know why? I actually found out that uh, the two partners that were there was Hussein Beydoun, and the owner was uh, Hamid. Um, so Hussein got bought out out of Iceberger, and I felt like he was the one that was there that was maintaining everything. That makes sense. Yeah, and then right once up. once he walked out of it, and uh, he's a good friend of mine, um, and he was telling me, I was like, wow, I didn't know that you were going to take that step to get bought out. Yeah. And I went almost two, three weeks later, and you can see that that the inside of the place was starting to look better mm-hmm. but the food was down. Oh, yeah. Big time, yeah and it was just like man like are you guys trying to just make the place look better you're not focusing on people actually trying to try the food so i did give him a call and i'm like I'm like wow man a lot of this stuff is going down and i used to love that place i ate two three burgers at one time every time i go Hmm? I love it. Listen, speaking of burgers, I do want to. I do need to give a shout out to my uncle Nash. He does make some of the best burgers, if not one of the best burgers I've ever tried. Y'all gonna have to taste test review his burger. You, talk, you, you, you talking about nasty? Nasty Nash. Nash, that's my baby. Yeah. Shout out to you for sure. For yeah. Sure. He commented, and I was sitting here thinking I wasn't gonna share an answer, but you know what? I would love for you guys to taste test his burger because I don't know if us just we're hyping him up as family. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, but I'm gonna be real with you. I really like the burger that he makes. He, he makes a very good burger. So maybe we need to uh, schedule something to where you guys both can uh, try it out and, and then give your honest reviews. All right, best pizza. Best pizza. Yeah, Allah Leon. Big Hams. Let Big Hams do that first. Joe's bro. in an arbor. Oh, uh, you know what? I just did that. Hands up. Yep. Hands up. Hands up. Found it, baby. Come on, baby. Hey, you tried the 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 Sicilian? <laughs> oh my lord, dude! I don't like deep dish, but that was so light, so airy. Hey, and then and then another thing about me, another thing about me. Walk into Joe's Pizza. You choose what you want. They heat it up a little. It's yeah. ready. Yes, yeah, sir. It's ready. It's Give me that. Fast and easy, bro. Give me that. And you, you know what's? No, great? I haven't. I have not tried Joe's. Hey, we'll anytime. Well, I'm done. I'm done. Well, we'll go. Hey, yeah. We will. We will. Hey, the best thing, not just about Joe's Pizza. The scenery. Yeah. Just having a pizza and walking out in downtown Ann Arbor, right in between the campus, is amazing. It's beautiful. Amazing. Big Hams approved and Canada Food Panda. Hamza, what's your favorite pizza? He's going to say Little Caesars or something. What are you going to say, man? (laughs) I'm saying, listen, um, I don't don't eat too much pizza because I don't like all that bread. But hey, man, shout out to Grubbin, man. (laughs) Grubbin. Grubbin Pizza. Grubbin Pizza. Shout out. Okay. Hey, quick story, man. I I could be getting mixed up. Do you stay next to the Melvin Mesquite? No. Okay. 
No. Then I'm just gonna stop the story right. No, no, there. why not? Why not bring up the story? No, because it was funny because I went to go pray one time and I did park in a spot I wasn't supposed to be at. And I was gonna give a shout out, you know, because whoever this guy was, I thought it was you. I'm not gonna lie to you. It may have been you, man. I don't know. What kind of car? I don't remember. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, he, you know, I so I came out and I see a tow truck taking my car away in my front of my eyes. And I'm like, oh, my. I want to go pray to and everything. You know what I'm saying? I get it towed. So, long story short, I ain't carry. I don't carry cash. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't carry cash on me, and you know, I know it's good to do it sometimes. But uh, that was the only way you could pull out money. And my wallet was, of course, in the car. And uh, it was another dude. They didn't just tow my truck. They chose someone else's truck. And, and then he was like, hold on, I got a friend over here. So we walked down the block and he knocked on the door. And that friend not only gave us a ride to the tow truck place, but fronted us $1,000, 500 each. Wow. And we, you know, I mean, he knew that we were going to pay him. And I thought it was you. Was it you, man, in the driver's seat, man? I feel like it was, oh, you look just like the person, man. It, it, someone this was like two years ago, man. Two years ago. And I was like, man, I feel like Yaqeen is that same guy that looked up. Well, well, you want to know the truth, man? Ramsey, with me, weren't you with me? Oh, it's not him? God bless that dude. Never mind. God bless that dude, whoever he was. But he was. Allah, no, Allah, if, I, I if it was me, so you know, I would have. You would do the same yeah, thing. I, would do the I know same you thing. would. And that's why I was wondering if it was you. Uh, we got a couple people, just a couple people's comments. And Golden Burger, Food Truck, The Best, and Blazing Grill. That, yeah. Can you review the desserts yet? They want us to review the desserts. You know, y'all have to shout, wait. Shout out to Blazing Grill. Y'all know we gotta hype it up. I haven't tried them. Yet. I'll go meet you when you're ready. Well, Let me know when y'all get uh, to the review. Blazing Grill, shout um, out. Blazing Coop. Two brothers. I know these. I know these uh, Blazing Grill ki kids, cats, for a long time since they were kids. Mashallah, Ali them. They've grown up. If they handle business for the family, did a lot of stuff, and I'm very proud of them for what they did. You know, they went to a gas station change that used to be a subway, mm. and you know, subway bounced. They jumped in, did what they had to do, and I ate it outside, bro. And it was phenomenal. What are you talking about right now? A blazing grill. Okay. What do they got there, man? All the above. All the above. Burger. And you know, I remember you told me one time, uh, you want restaurants to focus on certain things instead of always trying to just put so many things on the menu. Yeah, and small small menu, not big. <laughs> yes, I remember you told me that one time that those are restaurants that you always want to hit up. And uh, mashallah, I guess for that area, because they're in Detroit, I feel like they want to get all the neck of the woods. So that's why they have a lot of variety. But shout out to them. Definitely when you're ready, we'll go. I'm done. My oh, man. Chicken. You know, chicken sandwich was like hot for like a good two years. When COVID hit, it was like the hottest thing. I don't know what happened where chicken sandwich was like the next best thing. Uh, and they had their run. And I mean, they're still going. So what's the best chicken spot? For me, in my eyes, I like uh, digging chicken. Mm. That, that sandwich he had. I know everybody's on the trip I made for Eureka Eatery. I didn't get the hot Sammy. My bad. I didn't know that was the main thing. But yeah. That's somewhere that I got to go with you too. I've never been to Eureka Eatery. Yeah. So All right. Uh, uh, chicken. Huh? What about you? Chicken? Yeah. yeah. I love hot chick, man. Hot chicks? Yeah. Hot chicks? I love hot chick, man. How about Dave's uh, hot chicken? Y'all don't like Dave's hot chicken? Dave's hot chicken. Oh, my bad. Hot chicks. I thought you were talking about Dave's for some reason. Hot chicks is all right. How yeah. about Dave's? Dave's is what I, uh, that's why I thought he was talking about for some Dave, reason. I like Dave's hot chicken. Dave's is good. Dave's, Dave's, good. Good. Dave's is very good. There's bro. a new one that just opened up in Southern Heights. I was supposed to go today to do the hot wing challenge, but I don't feel like burning my ass. <laughs> There's a place in Southern Heights called Houston Hot Chicken. Mm. In Stealing Heights. Yes. I heard that one's crazy. I, I like I said, I I, I want to try it. They got two brothers in Ann Arbor, Blazing Coop. I just said that menu. Yeah, that's the place you're talking yep. about? Mm -hmm. Man. Those guys. Again, those are another two dudes and I know them since they were young. You know, great group of guys. Um, that's somewhere that I gotta go. I did want to when I went when I was in Ann Arbor and I was eating Joe's Pizza and Insomnia yeah. and I did that little small little tour. tour. Yeah, <laughs> I walked around. Every time I tried to jump on a bird, none of them said, "Hey, you can't drive in this area." I was like, "Yeah, I'm not trying to walk, man." Mm. So those are the guys that, inshallah, that if we get a chance, me and you will go try them out. So I put it. My bad. No, you good. Sorry, no, you good. No, you good. I mean, this is where you're. I'll put a poll on my Instagram. Who like where should I go today? Right. Everybody picked Blazing Coop more than any other spot. Same here. And then I have, listen, I don't know what it is. I think it's a Yemeni thing. Bro, I got lit up with Blazing Coop, Blazing Coop, Blazing Coop. Multiple, you see that video up on my Instagram? Yeah. I have four more people like that. Bro. Yeah. They're all blending up. That's funny. Yeah. Definitely. That's funny. You, know, you know what's crazy? I had guys that I knew from Ann Arbor. Yeah. They just told me about it. Wallah. They didn't know that I knew them or anything. They just told me about it. And I was like. You do a lot in Ann Arbor, man. You got a connection over there or something? Or? Uh, Okay, <laughs> we'll leave it as that. All right, Hamza T, uh, favorite chicken spot? I was going to say Dave's, but that's a franchise, and I don't want to do a franchise. Uh, District 12 is good. I like District 12. What? There, there's chicken, oh, there's sandwich. chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, you tried it for sure. No, not the chicken no? sandwich. No, huh? really? Oh, I love that. I love that chicken sandwich. That was a curveball. I've never heard that one before. Best, probably the best chicken sandwich I had. 
Allah. Second to Holy Clug. Holy Clug's number two. Oh, okay. Hey. And he's he's ready, man. That's so why we have Hamza here. Hey, I eat a lot of food. I love Dirbar. I'm here like every week, at least once, trying every single restaurant. Yeah, I'm trying. So you spend more on food or gas? Uh, I have a Ford Fusion, so you know, <laughs> gas ain't, ain't no problem. So probably food. Uh, and I guess, uh, by the way, he works at the Balkan House. So you're gonna have to food review the Balkan House. I love the Balkan House. Uh, yes. I haven't been there, so that's someone that's. Thank like, God. Dude. You guys gotta bear with me, guys. It's been a month. Oh, yeah. I mean, just food in general, though. You know guys, what guys wanna like, yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. The past three days, four days passed by, and I was like, man, I got no reviews. No reviews at all. You need content. No, it's not. No, not, I don't mean. That's what I mean. Content as in reviews, but you know. I told you like yesterday I was fasting, so it's hard for me to go home, eat at the crib, and then end up going out. That going out is not there no more. You know, he, he's fasting by the way because he's Muslim, Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, here we go with that. Muslim. Some of us are just Muslim. You know what I'm saying? He was fasting. <laughs> he's Muslim, Muslim. Hey, uh, no, all jokes aside, last one for the food part is wings. You gotta. I try to separate them into categories. So who got the best wings in town? Okay, I'm gonna tell you this point blank, simple. I'm not a fan of wings. Well, I am. So we need this answer, though. Yeah, I'm not a fan of wings. I'll eat them, but I'm not a fan of wings. It's just that's just me, guys. I love wings, man. I know, but I just I'm not a fan of wings. And uh, uh, when we're with a group of guys, oh look at Big Ham's hair, of course. <laughs> Mashallah, alik dakhla khadga every one. That's why you love them. I remember one time you did that challenge with uh, what's name at Fortson, and, and I was like. I should have been in the middle of that. Even though I don't like wings, I would have dakhled khadig so fast. Like, bro, where is this going? Yeah, it's a real competition. Remember, you seen that video? <laughs> yeah. He looked up, he gave up. <laughs> he's like, he's like, low. He's like, fuck. <laughs> That's I what we gotta, do. Yeah, we, gotta, we gotta what do. do. What do you mean, bro? I was with like a group of guys. I'm like, yes, watching this, bro. The guy, if like, if you guys were racing, bro, A would have been behind you turning. You're waiting for him to, uh, to catch back up, man. But like I said, with wings, um, I'll guide his grill. Algadi is crazy. Algadi's grill. Had the wings, but the Phillies. My really. Hey, so Bro. so I'm not trying to say that's my little brother. Walla. Yes, sir. Shadad. Astro little brother. No, Shadad is my brother-in-law. Oh, Sabit okay. is the owner. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. Brother-in-law. So, uh, he always made wings, and I told him he knew I never liked wings. He knew I didn't like them, and I used to be like, "Yo, can you just make me the Philly steak? How I like it? I don't want the wings." One day, you know, I have the business right across the street from him, Auto Kings. And I told him, make me a plate. He gave me something, he needs six wings, lemon pepper. And in my mind, I'm like, he knows I'm not going to eat these wings. Man, bro. I didn't even eat the Philly steak sub, bro. I demolished the wings. I told him to get another 12 piece. So why you say you hate wings, though? You hate wings just. It's as, as nothing. It's not, so I'll, mashallah, I'll eat anything that I, that I see in, <laughs> in a way, but more like it doesn't make me feel like I'm full. It doesn't give me that vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. That's what you mean. It doesn't give me that vibe to where, bro, I'm just, I'm, I'm, like I said, you're putting it in the mouth, coming out straight bones, like you just taste. It's basically a tasting. Yeah. So if anyone tells me that they like wings from a specific place, it's because of the taste. Mm. Some of them don't even have chicken on them, barely, bro. Mm. You're biting two pieces and it's gone. Like corn on the corner. Corn on the corner. Hey. I t- <laughs> you see when I told Ray, what did Ray come and tell me? Yaqeen, they're organic. Yeah, there's no point. They are organic, but they're tiny. Tiny. Like, give me the fake ones. I'll take ahsan, the, ahsan. Ahsan. That's, that's what I'll I was going to I'm dying anyway, so yeah. I didn't hear one. Ahsan. So going back to the best wings so far, I'll guide his grill. There you go. I never had them. I'm down to try them. Yes, sir. Wing fellas. For real? Oh, yeah. Shout out to wing fellas, man. Wingfellas. You're giving a shout out to a lot of people that support what we do, so I'm happy about that. I mean, they, they they definitely, man, any any event, man, wing fellas, man, they always lend a hand and donate so many wings to any event, so shout out to them. But that's, I'm happy that, I like them too, by the way. Yeah, they're correct. What about you, man? I'm wing fellas. Wing fellas is for me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, shout out to uh, Grub Band. They used to have very similar wings to wing fellas. Uh, I don't know why they stopped, but um, wing fellas for me, especially when it comes to wings, um, that's my spot, you know, where I go to. Shout out to Fami. Yeah. How about you, Hams? What's that wing spot next to Mochi Donuts? I forgot what it's called. It's called a wing something. Wing snob? Wing snob. Snob. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's because I don't really eat wings that much. Okay. But from there, it was good. But wing snob. Yeah. I feel like what a lot of wings are similar. No, there's wing snob and wing, wing snob. He's talking about snob. snob yeah. 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 What do you think? Of, well, wing yeah. snob. Okay. Yeah, they're right. I never tried them. The thing is, the wings, there's a lot of similar wings. I think For you, I'm sorry to cut you off. Very good. For you... Me and I guess Shamander, I don't know if he did it or not, but I tapped out day one. I tapped out day one heights. You have the whole community. You can go to every, you have so many to variety to pick from. It's crazy. I have like two left and then day one. That's it. 
<laughs> you have like a list? Do you actually know who the two are? Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, but you make a use your notes app. Habibi, I promise you. I don't even have time to just to go through my phone and I see whatever comes up next. The way I see it is when I get hungry, I got you guys to look at what you guys are reviewing. Then I go from there. And then at, at least it gives me a little bit of motivation to know, hey, what you guys rated, what you guys ate, so then I can eat the same ways just so we could be on the same page. Would you ever review anything more than just food? Would you review like services or businesses or anything like that? You know what? Um, I wouldn't, to be honest. Why? Um, I don't want to get in too deep to someone's business. Um, I don't... What's the difference between you and doing that with the food? So the food is... Basically, uh, it's it's free to the public. Anyone walks in and pays for food and do whatever they have to do. When it comes down to service, maybe they're liking a worker that day. Mm. You know, Same thing with the restaurant. Yeah, I mean that's why you don't know you don't know the story. Mm. So that's why I try not to talk about another thing that I really want to talk about is pricing. And that's I was gonna wait a little bit down the line so then I can bring up pricing. Hey. There are six, but hey, you know what? They're worth it because it's $5 a sandwich. Yeah. And there's a reason why there are six. But when it comes down to service, I just don't know their story because I've been in that position to where um, I had businesses to where uh, the lack of workers messed up my business. People walked in, they had bad experiences, and they walked out and never came back. So I just don't want to, on the wound, on top of the wound, just keep hurting the wound. Right. So it just, that's why I kind of stepped back away from that. And remember what I told you guys in the beginning of the show. I just want to be happy doing it. Mm. I just want to know that, hey, I tasted it. I let people know how it tasted and on to the next. Mm -hmm. When it comes down to technicality and just other things, I want to leave it alone. I don't want it to be me. Smart man. I love this. I love this conversation that we're having. I just wanted you guys, before we do the live taste test of the, of, of the cupcakes, the, the cookies, the, the pudding, the cake, uh, just give me just a name off a few dessert places that right now that you'd be like, hey, this, this place, this place, and this place. Maybe like, And also recommend what you would get from those specific places as well. If you want to just name off a few dessert places in town. I know you did a spoonful of pudding a few times. We got them here today. I like them. Um, you like them? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. What, what else you got for us, Big Homs? And by the way, uh, while he's doing that, Big Homs, you know, by the way, starting his new podcast as well. Give that a round of applause. Round of applause. Hans. Round of applause for sure for that one. Yeah. yeah. You got to do that, bro. Thank you. Bro. Doing his thing, of course. Big man. Homs is out here trying to function. Yeah. Yes. You he ain't playing. Don't make money off big comes reviews. I'm telling you. It's not about that, but you know what? <laughs> when you're starting to walk in the sidewalk, you know you cover the sun on a lot of people. So, mashallah, try to scoot to the side a little bit. You trying to call me fat, though? No, 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 you big fella. F fat? I'm gonna call you fat. <laughs> I, I think I probably weigh more than you. You want to do this weight test right now? I, I can. I promise you. you okay. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, I say first. Go ahead. I'm 281. How much do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? How much, how much you think I weigh, dog? I know, I'll say 300. Call that 300 with us. Yeah, add 100 to that. We'll talk. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allah, man. I'm a big guy. Allah. So that makes sense. You know why? You know what they always say? You cannot trust a skinny chef. That's right. I don't. Like Big Al's pizza, I trust him. Cause no offense, Big Al, but you, he's big. He, he, he bombs the egg. <laughs> steak calzone over there is crazy. Calzones, you said? From, from Big Al's Pizza. Yeah. And your one, it's crazy. I'm going to have to try that. I promise you. What, what kind of dessert do we got for uh, us? So, like I said, spoonful, spoonful pudding, they're delicious. Masri Sweets, they're kanafe, and Allah's name is probably one. But the bald guy has to make it for you. <laughs> Bro, that's crack. That one's good. Booz Delight's good. Uh, Booz Delight's like JJ's. good. JJ's, his ice cream spot's pretty good. Um, La Jalali's OG. And then just a couple other spots. There you go. How about you? Kenny the Food Panda? Um, I like Jebel. You count that as a dessert or a coffee? Uh, I like it for the refreshers. and uh, I mean, you're talking about... Yeah, anything. Just, I mean, like, you know, the, the milk cakes just started popping out. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. So the first place that I tried was Jebel. Mm. I know some other places are having them, but Jebel was the place that I went to that introduced me to Oreo milk cake, the Biscoff one, the Lotus one. And they're fire, man. Yeah, they're crazy. fire, fire. Another place, another place is uh, treat you better. Um, they got a lot of uh, assorted different types of cookies that I like, and that's um, I'm, like I said, going back to me not being a dessert guy, but dessert. I ate uh, la gelati, like you just said. I ate their mini pancakes with that with that lotus. Man, that was fire. That's my highest review so far, eight point seven. 
damn. <laughs> Everyone's like, man, bro, your highest review is going to be a dessert. I said, yes, sir. That one literally turned my lips around. Mm -hmm. So. Nah, it sounds good. Is that mini pancakes? Lotus mini pancakes? Many little lotus mini pancakes. Sounds delicious. Hamza, you know, I know you got your fair share of desserts as well. What you got for us, Hams? I tried a lot of them. Uh, for sure. Hey, shout out to Dairy Fairy Cafe there because they live right next to me. Amazing. They have mini pancakes, waffles on a stick, French toast, crepes, everything. Also, uh, I'm a Mochaccino Cafe. They have really good acai bowls. Mochaccino. Mochaccino, yeah. I've heard a lot about that place. Have you tried that before? No, but all my boys go there. It's good. Interior is very nice, too. Yeah. So, uh, what do you call it? Osama uh, also is a shareholder of that restaurant. Which too. one? Uh, uh, Mocachino? Sidruiz, Sidruiz, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's and I'm talking about, uh, talking about Mocachino? Mocachino, yeah. Where is that at? That's on Michigan Michigan Avenue. That's right next to Prime Eatery. Yes, sir. Okay, and then uh, for you, he said acai bowls. What are your thoughts on those? Acai bowls are good. Okay. Uh, there used to be a girl, her ear, her name is Passion for Fruit. She only comes out there in Ramadan. Hers are really good. Yeah. Shack is really good. And that's about it. All right. Well, listen, we got the desserts entering the studio. We got a few here. So, again, uh, before we do that, uh, before you bring it, Ramsey, hold on one second. Uh, again, we got cupcakes and also cake from Dairy Fairies Cafe. Obviously, we got cookies from Treat You Batter. And then we also got spoonful of pudding. We got pudding from there, Lotus and Oreo one. We're going to try everything one at a time. You know, and, you know, this is what a lot of these people that were tuned in were waiting for. They wanted to see us or see specifically the, the review experts to review the dessert. So with that said, we're going to run a quick ad, give a shout out to the Balkan House restaurant. You know, so I'm glad it's also Big Hound's review uh, approved. I mean, Candy the Food Panda, you're going to have to try it out, too. From now on, whenever we advertise these places, I'm like, it's also Big Homs approved, by the way. So let them know, you know, that they, they get the green light from Big Homs. So shout out to the Balkan House restaurant, and then let's get this dessert going. So shout out to Balkan House. You know what, Yusuf, man? I'm in the mood for some Balkan food. Yeah, man, me too. Well, you know, there's no better place to go for Balkan than the Balkan House restaurant. The Balkan House restaurant is famous for their donut kebab sandwiches. But did you know that the Balkan House now serves breakfast? Did you also know that all their food is 100% halal? There are currently two Balkan House locations, one in Hemtramck and one in Ferndale. But they now also have two food trucks, so you can book your next party or event with the Balkan House on wheels. If you're looking for a nice place to eat with friendly service and great prices, look no further than the Balkan House restaurant. Start off with one at one. Huh? Let's start off with one. Like how big of a slice you want to get up? Whatever these guys want. What is it? You guys want to cut it? That's so amazing, bro. Run. Good vibes. All right. Yeah, bro. We're officially back. We got Hamza here. Gonna be cutting us up. Hamza, you want to be in the corner or something and take anything next to you? Move stuff around. Hamza, do what you got to do. Uh, make it comfortable for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you're about to cut up pieces for uh seven people in the studio right now. We got four or five here. Yeah, you stuff in the back. Um, so again, I guess he's starting off with what? You're starting off with the Dairy Fairies uh, cake right here. Uh, shout out to Big Homs cutting up the cake. You know, don't forget to give everybody a piece. Don't worry about me. You can save me last. Um, and yeah, I mean, we got coffee by the way in the back too, brother Aziz. We we made coffee. You know, we want some coffee. Mm, no, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. All right. You know, we got creamer and everything. I don't know if y'all like coffee with the cake. Best tea. Oh, he's at best tea. Yeah, man, brother, I just, man, come on the show, man. Come we through. thought Halal Food Junkie was going to be here, but I guess that's not happening. Come you know, uh, he ain't pull up. It is what it is. Coffee. Uh, I like Jabal. Jabal. The Jabal is pretty good. And uh, Camarilla is good. And Kahwa House. Kahwa is good. I think uh, Kahwa House is like overrated. Me, I like Jabal. Okay. Well, we, you know, shout out to Kawa House. He likes he likes Jebel because of the scenery. It's nice. He likes that West Dearborn, you know. Appreciate you. We yeah. feel we feel like that's a main street for West Dearborn. Yeah, basically that's a new like spot for downtown. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like shout, shout out to all of them on that street, definitely. Yep. For making it happen for us to feel uh, Dearborn in a different view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those coffee places. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I did a very good job, man. Kawa House wanna blow it up for everybody, man. Yep. Kawa House, the original coffee place. Uh, I don't know what kind of cut was that from Hamza. Maybe we need a cake cutter or something. <laughs> no, it's a cake. Uh, it's a milk cake. So it's oh, it's a milk cake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Much. All right. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I guess we're gonna just yeah. pass it around. You know, uh, just know, guys, uh, there's a lot of dessert about to be passed around. Uh, we got Brother Aziz here, a professional NFL player. 
Um, sorry about that, man. I don't know how that's cut like that. Brother Aziz, yeah, good luck, Brother Aziz. I don't know what you're going to do with that. Uh, but with that said, you know, like I said, we're going to pass this cake around. And then, you know, we're going to give our reviews one by one. Maybe we should have had somebody cut this beforehand because Ham's about to be taking his wonderful time. In the meantime, Big Ham's, tell us a little bit about the podcast. You know, you got started. What was your goal behind it? And kind of go from there. And then save your review yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm for it. Uh, I did a podcast because I, just, I I love learning about people's lives. I love learning about uh, who they are, what they have to do with, to get where they are, and just everything about them. And I just dropped the first podcast with Carl Mackey, and uh, it's called the podcast called Talk to Me on YouTube. And Carl Mackey is uh, he's the owner of American Avenue, uh, Avenue American Bistro, the Boardwalk, uh, Egg Egg Bar. He's opening up a new spot. And he's just a business guru. Like, if you guys want to learn how to build a business, listen to that podcast because he will teach you. And you're just an awesome guy overall. I Sweet. got more people coming on, but I just got to find a spot for it. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah, man. That's awesome. And by the way, because I want you guys to review Dairy Phrase at the same time. Um, so, Cupcake, give a recommendation which one y'all want. You got strawberry shortcake, you got Biscoff, and an Oreo. So, we're going to do each restaurant um, at the same time. So, I'm a Biscoff um, guy. Biscoff, give him a Biscoff. Biscoff, baby. Yep. <laughs> Give him a Biscoff, and then uh, uh, Brother Aziz, which one do you want? Uh, is that strawberry? Is that what you pointed at? Biscoff. Uh, Biscoff. There we go. We got another Biscoff. Biscoff is smart. And then Big Ham's reviews. You want Biscoff as well? Yes, sir. All right. There we go. So we got a bunch of Biscoffs in the what building. I mean, honestly, I don't care. You I don't care. I'm, I'm worried about you guys right now. I mean, I'm a big Biscoff fan, but I'll, I'll take a strawberry one. I, I don't, go ahead. It's for you. It's all you, baby. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Give me an Oreo, one. please. There's one yeah. more. There's, there's one, one more. Stuff. Biscoff, anyways. Oh, hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one more. It's okay. I'll, I'll give me a strawberry. I'll take a strawberry for right now. It don't matter. All right, and there we go. All right, so we everybody got their dessert in front of them. This is Dairy Fairies Cafe in Hamtramck. Shout out to Mahmoud. You know, went to school with that guy. Um, great family, but he knows. He knows we're going to keep it real and keep it 100 in here, all right? So we got Brother Aziz right quick, Yusuf. If you want to put the camera on Brother Aziz first, look, he's nodding his head. What do you? I don't know how you want to do this. I don't know if you want to give it a rating. I don't know if you want to prove it. Whatever you want, man. But uh, Brother Aziz, talk to us. What was this called again? Crack. No, what's it called? Dairy Fairies Cafe. That one. So you want to compare the two? No, it's the same, it's the same place. Oh. Uh, so you're just, we're just giving him a rating. You can break it down from the cake and then the cupcake. Yo, the cupcake is good, bro. So the rating scale, what, 0 to 10? Yeah. How do you, you do it? it? However way you want it, man. I mean, it's not not something I would probably order. Okay. As far as something being on the show, checking it out. You know, a solid 6. Nice. All right, solid 6. There you go. I'm sorry. This cupcake is delicious, though. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm loving the cupcake. Uh, big Homs. Big Homs reviews. How about the cupcake? Oh, yeah. How about the cupcake? What you think about the cupcake? 8. 8. Solid eight. There you go, brother Aziz. <laughs> Don't look at me, Hams. Yeah. Big Hams reviews. Here we go. This is the cake. Let's get it. Damn. Yo, this cake is crazy. For real? Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> I like that cake a lot. You should sub the cream inside the cake, too. Yo, mashallah, I'm not going to lie. This cupcake is good, too. Shout out to the cupcake. Shout out to Dairy Fairies, man. Yeah, I'm a big strawberry friend too, by the way. I'm a lotus and strawberry guy. Oh, yeah. We got big hams. Here we go. Oh, what, yeah. What's the review on it? It was great. That's really good. Is it big hams approved? That's the big Hell question. Yeah, big hams approved. But it needs more cream. Needs more cream? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I felt. You know what I'm saying? All right, there we go. We got Big Hounds approved. Shout out to Dairy Fairies Cafe. One for one. They're one for one right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenny the Food Panda, talk to us, man. Empty plate. Gone. The strawberry, um, that, you said that's a milk cake, right? Yeah. Yeah. The strawberry milk cake, I'm going to rate that a nine. Really? That's the highest review I got. Wow. Go that's ahead and give him a round of applause, Yusuf. That was good. It was good, but it was like an eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. Was it an eight? To me, it felt like an eight. It was good. Eight's a good number. Yeah, is it is. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll still stay with the nine. The lotus, I needed more lotus in it. So that one, I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. But, but great desserts. Check them out, definitely. Shout out to uh, Hamza. We gotta do the, the pudding now too. I'm what? sorry, Big Hams. You oh, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? We gotta do the big pudding Hums. as well. Big, big Hams. 
I'm gonna have to change my number. Yeah, yeah, change it. I seen you. Yeah. The gums, agree with me? I'm gonna change the number, man. Nine? Yeah, nine. My man, my really? man. Really? Yeah, because I had that old frosting right now. Yep, that's exactly what I tasted. That frosting is perfect. <laughs> that's why. Tell Ramsey, my, uh, my, Ramsey oh, the paper the towels right there, Yusuf. Look at my paper plate, the gums right gone. Oh, damn, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Dairy Fairies uh, doing their thing. Mashallah, very good. And delicious. You guys got to prove. Ramsey, the napkin's right there, Rams. Right there behind you. Oh, it's right here. Big Hams, okay. you know what's crazy? I never seen right that, there. That, that strawberry kick in any of these um uh, these restaurants. These uh, coffee spots. Thank you, Habibi. I, I, I never seen that before. Because they're doing milk cakes now. Yeah, I'm just saying, but this is uh this is something that, that should be collaborated in uh in coffee spots. Like, honestly, if this was a milk cake, it would just dominate everything. Amazing. If, if this was a milk cake, because yes. the moistness. Amazing. All right. So there you go. Dairy Fairies, you passed the test. We got a couple nines, a couple eights. You know what I'm saying? So congratulations, Dairy Fairies. Um, you guys passed the test for the desserts. We're going to now move on to a spoonful of pudding. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's give Hamza some time so that we can try some cookies while Hamza cuts up some stuff from spoonful of pudding. So can you grab me the... Uh, the a spoonful of pudding. Oh, you're about to try it right now. So go ahead, grab a cookies. We're going to just pass this around. Uh, Brother Aziz, grab you whatever cookie you want. And then uh, you just pass it to the right of you, and everybody can get themselves a cookie and then try it. So the cookies are from Treat You Better. We appreciate them, obviously, and their support. I think there's chocolate chip there, and then some of their Saturday favorites. Did they name? Did they name off? Everybody, both pudding? Yeah, everybody, everybody, cut, both, both. Little, I mean, both of Lotus and the whatever. So, uh, did they tell you, Yusuf, get on the microphone? Did they tell you what are some of the toppings that they had uh, or the? Whatever. Yeah, I believe their Saturday favorites is a Kinder with white chocolate type of cookie. Um, that's their, like only on Saturdays, I believe. But everything else, we have six chocolate chip, and then the, the rest are their specials. So. I'm gonna take the s'mores one. I'm gonna take this one. There you go. There you go. We got a few of the desserts. I mean, got, got some plates. Hamza, can you give us some plates, a, a stack, right quick? We can pass them around. All right, brother Aziz. There you go. All right, we're gonna start with you, brother Aziz. Again, you know, you got the cookie in your hand. Treat you better. It's really well known in this area. Uh, so shout out to Treat You Better. What you got for us? Ten. 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 Wow. All right. Uh, I heard I heard uh, Big Hams reviews didn't have a great review on Treat You Better last time. <laughs> this is what's going on this time? Big Hams talk to us. You just tried a chocolate chip, and I think that's a macadamia in the next one. I believe this one's a s'mores. Oh, that s'mores. Good. Okay. That one's good. Okay. I'm gonna do this one. I don't know what this is. That's one thing I can't do reviews because I don't know how to tell about food. I'm not good with that. I don't know how to explain. I was be like, it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or I don't like it. That's me. Yeah. That's Biscoff, right? I think it's Kinder. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's Kinder, yeah. It's Kinder? That's yeah, good. Yeah. That's really good. You got a scoring system yet or no? You're going to wait a little bit. Two bites. I'll give it Two eight. bites done. It's good. Eight. Eight? Hmm? Solid eight. Big Hounds reviews. I mean, if, if, if you're getting an eight, I think you solid. You're doing a great job. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's not fresh. If it's yeah. fresh, do it. Yeah. Kennedy, the food panda, talk to us. I agree with Big Hounds. Eight on both of them, and if they were fresh, whole different level. With some milk, two percent whole milk, baby. We got milk, y'all want some milk? I mean, we've got to bring out the milk and uh, and cups uh, out. Maybe I don't know if we have plastic cups or not. Yeah, if, see see if we got any plastic cups and stuff like that. Uh, and I don't, I don't even know. I know we have to go grocery shopping too. I don't even know if we actually have enough milk for that. All right, the cookies. We're giving it back to brother Aziz. There we go. So treat you better. Well, we got a ten, eight. And an eight, so treat you better. You passed the test as well. We are two for two with picking out dessert spots. So I'm excited about that. And now, last but not least, we have the pudding that Hamza. Man, Hamza, be sh man, why, why'd you use a knife, Hamza? <laughs> you sure? No. Okay. Well, it looks like he's struggling again over there with the pouring. I mean, just give people enough for a taste yeah, test for right yeah. now. And then we'll, we'll let them eat more later on. Uh, Brother Aziz, you want to take this one right here, sir? This is the pudding. Again, we apologize for the, um, the inconvenience. No, no, fuck it. Uh, and, and you know we got forks right there too, Ham. I don't know if you're running out of uh, stuff as well. So with that said, now it's spoonful of pudding. Make sure you get a spoonful. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the Biscoff and then the Oreo right here. Uh, we got forks as well if you guys need them. And this is a plate for my man, uh, Kenny the Food Panda, Yaqeen in the building. I uh, appreciate you guys. You know, we have to do some live reviews. So talk to you, us. Appreciate you. Appreciate you always, always. Surprisingly good. I usually don't eat pudding. Nice. That's good. So is this the Biscoff? Yes. Sir. Yeah, you might have to pour some generous cup. That's all the milk we got left. You know, we got kids in the house, Very fellas. Good. You know what I'm saying? You know, it may be low. Uh, but go ahead, man. 
Don't yeah, I mean, you're not going to pour me anything. Just give them three. Them three right here. No, I don't drink milk, man. Oh, I don't drink milk? Okay, well, give them two. Two cups. I don't want anything I'm done right now. I'm good for right now. Yeah, I'm good for right now. I'll eat, I'll eat later. All right, so what you, what you got? Go eight. Eight. We'll take those eights. We love eights. Big Hams, you already know Spoonful of Pudding, how it is and how they do things. So talk to us, man. I love these guys, bro. Yeah. I love their pudding. My favorite by far, she knows. I love the Oreo. She knows that. So this is it right here. Let's get it. A1 since day one. <laughs> Eight five. Eight five. There you go. Just to let five. you know, this is my first time. Never, there you go. This is about to be never, a, real, never a real review right here. Never had. So, so this is Biscoff? Yes, sir. Bismillah. You said you wanted a little bit more Biscoff last time, so here, here we go. It's, it's packed with Biscoff, bro. Wow. You know? That's some milk for you. Hi, baby. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, some milk. That is 8.5 on that low, on that on that Biscoff one. We got an 8.5. All right, now what you got for us on Oreo? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> great minds to get like. Solid. 8.5. 8.5. Great job. Nothing below an eight. So again, Dairy Fairies and him Tramic, a spoonful of pudding. You could find them on Instagram. You know, I think that's how they do things. You got to go pick up from them. Um, and then you have you know, Chichu Batters right there in West Dearborn. Three spots, local, or, you know, we appreciate them, community-oriented. Uh, what you guys say, Big Hams? You, what were you saying? I'm the, he think, he's saying it's amazing. There's more. She has a strawberry one, a pumpkin one. Bro, her strawberry is crap. Nice, nice. You know, we appreciate these businesses, man. You know, they're small businesses. They do their thing. And, uh, I, again, I appreciate them for all their supports. Brother Aziz, what you got to say, man? Talk to us, man. I think I'm missing out. I, I think the fact that, I mean, I like food, but they love food. Yeah. I mean, you love food. Just to hear you talk about it, I'm like, wow. My man, you played in the NFL. You didn't eat, you ate everything. Nah. Are you serious? Those really? Cafe, those, it's a long time ago, though. You have to understand, I'm old. You're not old. Not old. old you? Come on, you're looking good. 59. Oh, I told you. God bless you. He looks great, though. He looks great, my son. great. Yeah, he looks that's great. What I'm that's why I'm like, I'm like, after this, I'm gonna have to go home and work out for the second time. Then I'm, I'm probably I'm mess you up. Me and him together, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. He's more fit than us, bro. 100%. He is. <laughs> Don't he do is. that to us right now, especially me. I told <laughs> my push-ups after this, right? I was, uh, I was watching, I was watching Big Hams. I think, it was, I think it was a week ago. He put it. He's at the gym working out, mm -hmm. and I was like, Yeah, Allah. After this, he's about to demolish. The workout's gonna be gone, and I keep telling myself, May first, May first. I'm gonna try to put, make sure this works. So I tried out a place it's all you. It's all there. inside my house, and the treadmill's right in the back of me. Chill. And I'm literally, I'm, I'm eating the sandwich, or I'm eating the sub, and the treadmill's right there in the corner. <laughs> first review I got is, Mashallah, Alaik, you getting ready to hit the treadmill after? And I didn't even realize the treadmill's behind me until I get the video. <laughs> I gotta post this now. I have to post this. You know. Because I sent it to one of my friends. Yeah, yeah. And when he was talking, I was like, I can't cut that little treadmill out the little corner. I can, it's impossible. And then I put it up, and then there goes the bashing. <laughs> it is what it is. That's funny. That's good, though. You know, that's what you want. You want the people to be, uh, you know, uh, commenting and stuff like that. And Big Hums is right, man. At the end of the day, if you get negativity, you, you're doing your job. That's true. But like I said, it's not a job. We're doing it, you know, for the sake of us trying to just enjoy it. Compared to other people doing it for a, a full time job and uh, their bread and butter. I love doing this, man. It's fun to me. It's my I friend. love doing it, man. I I, I kind of realized after I five six posts, I was like, man, it's awesome. Now I know why this guy loves it, bro. I just put my face. I talk what I want to talk, and I promise you, later down the line, you're just gonna get realer. Yep. <laughs> Some people in the background are already talking smack, saying this and that, and I'm like, it's a good thing. And I'm like, bro, right, man, bro. My little brother one time, if you listen to the Asamio one. All we're doing is just... Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. I watched that one. We're acting us. And he's like, Askeri, Askeri. He's basically saying, the cop, the cop is coming because we're just acting like fools on Ann Arbor. No, man, we're just eating cookies. He got so proud. I'm like, bro, you didn't mess up my video. Post it. Post it. Don't worry about it, man. You know, so that those are the vibes that I want. Yeah. Those are, that's, the, that's what makes me happy. That's good, man. That's good. I'm excited. I'm happy that you guys are enjoying it because to be honest with you, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's definitely, you know, it's, it's work. 
Y'all putting in the work. Let's keep it real right now. Y'all definitely putting in the work. So kudos to you guys. Uh, kudos to these places right here. I only have one final question to everybody here, and that is, you know, I guess this is one of those advice times, you know, where, where we give people advice. And this time would be, what advice do you have for restaurants who may receive a bad review? Uh, what advice would you give them, Big Homs? I'll start off with you on this one. You know, what's the advice that you would give them, man, and, and, and keep it real? And, you know, because not every restaurant's perfect, and obviously everybody's, nobody's perfect, to be honest with you. You know, so everybody can obviously take some criticism. So what advice would you give to a restaurant that just received a bad review? Um, I've dealt with many, many restaurant owners. Take criticism. Learn how to take criticism. Because I know restaurant owners that don't take criticism. And man, they're like children, bro. All those names. Then I know like actual people who take criticism and they love what they're doing and they will fix it. Like Ray from Corner Corner. He cares. Carl, he cares. He cares, my bad. People like that, they care. They want to be better. They want to learn how to be better. But I've done restaurant owners. I tell them, like, you know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, okay whatever. And they're like, no, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Okay, okay, whatever you want. I'm just telling you my experience. Like, yeah, you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Then you have ones who act like children and want to hide behind something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had that recently with Eureka. Whatever, bro. It is what it is. Um, then I had, like, just take criticism. That's it. Yeah. I like that. Take I like that. Go ahead. Uh, can you, go ahead. Give that a round of applause, by the way. That's a good answer, <laughs> by the way. Uh Yaqeen, what's your answer? Kenny the Food Panda, what you got to say? To be honest with you, use it as motivation. Use it as your motivation to build the business. Tell yourself, khalas, at this point, someone said that something went wrong. Let me dig deep to find out what the problem was. It's only going to make you better. Mm. It's only going to make you ready for another person to come in to try to taste your thing. Or just, this is, because like Big Ham said, people do it for passion, people do it for a bag. It's two different things. So when someone ends up getting the money, they're not actually thinking about, hey, trying to build a business. They're just thinking about just collecting. So it should be always motivation. It shouldn't be, hey, Big Hamza's in the building. It should be, hey, he's here. We were ready for him. Yes, that's what I want. It should be, hey, this guy is pulling up. We don't care. Pull up whenever you want. This is, we're ready for you. Mm. So that's what I can tell people. It should be a motivation to tell yourself, hey, let me be ready and always be ready. And you got to give it to these guys, man. Uh, I know, like I said, I talked about myself. You know, I'm in the learning stages. I'm not going to sit here and tell myself, hey, I'm Kenny the Food Panda. No, I'm learning this stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to be just like how others are by tasting food because everyone's taste buds are different. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's common sense when it comes to food. Big Ham's cheap Beast Mode, Big Apple, HFJ. I know he's a promoter also. But these guys present themselves right. They present themselves at a point to where, hey, you better be ready for us. We're coming. Yeah. So that's why I can tell people based off watching Big Homs and uh, Cheap Beast Mode, you got to be ready for guys like that. So at the end of the day, when HFJ was been doing it for 10 years, there was no Big Homs. There was no Cheap Beast Mode. So now that they're out, you should be ready for them. Because before it was only promoters. Now that we're here. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And like people have... I'm giving you a warning right now. Yes, sir. I'm try to threaten you. Yeah. I'm telling you no right now. They're gonna try to threaten you. They're gonna try to fuck with your head. I had people try to come at me, my family. As in what way though? <sighs> like uh, like life uh, threats. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Over and, food. Yeah. I guess it's their business. It's I their business. That. And the funny thing is, I even did their business. Yet. I have never stepped a foot in their business, and they came me. Interesting. And then I had another guy do it. And they try to, it's just crazy shit trying to happen to me and my family. And my family just want to, let, like, they, you know how you hang out with me? They don't want to hang out with me in the public anymore. Mm. Like, that's why I laid low for a while. And just be careful. Yeah, man. That's right now, Allah ma'on, if anything happens, happens. But yeah, yeah, but and I, and I, at the end of the day, uh, if you feel like you have, uh, you, you got mad at something that I said, Allah, at the end of the day, uh, take your feeling somewhere else, bro. Mm. You want to come pull up to me, Ahlan Sahlan. You better make sure you pull up with that burger that didn't taste right for me to taste it right again the second time. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. If a bu- if you do a business and then like you do a side video or talking about that business, like addressing it, if the owner reaches out to you and you know, like tries to work with you and tries to like show you or apologize, would you take it down? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it for him. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it for the people. 
We are what they call the people's champ. Yes, sir. Carl, <laughs> can, you give that, can you give that Ram Apollo a great answer? Yeah, that was the answer you were waiting for, too, yeah, wasn't it? Beautiful, yeah. That's that. This is this is what you are. Mm. People don't wake up every day and look at uh, workout sessions. They come. What are we eating? Where's Big Hams? So don't worry about what restaurant owners have to say. At the end of the day, you're given what's in your heart and what you taste. If they feel some type of way, my man, sorry, man, kick rocks. There you go. I can't do nothing for you, bro. That's what I want to hear. But that's why I do appreciate you, even though I don't even have a restaurant. I do appreciate the fact that you do Big Homs 2.0 for some people. Because honest to God, some people don't go back again. Yeah, that's some people love to just build their feed on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok just to say, hey, I did 2,000 rents once. You never see a lot of 2.0s. Mm -hmm. Never. That's something that I like about you. Because you're giving them the benefit of the doubt to come back and say, hey, yeah, we probably had lack of workers. We probably didn't have this much flour. We used the wrong flour. Maybe we dipped the chicken too much longer. The grease was bad. So, hey, I'm coming back again. Retaliation is good. Come back, but as a separate. Like, don't say, hey, I'm coming No, back. of course not. Of course reason. not. Because what you did on that 1.0 should already change them. Yeah, it did. That 1.0 should already change them. Can I give you an example of that? Yes, sir. Tacos, tacos. Absolutely. You talked to me about that, too. Mm -hmm. And that was the day that I was going to go there, but then I end up going to uh, uh, the spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right after I told you, I was like, right when you went to the spot, you're like, you know what? These guys are talking some smack about the spot. And then when you went, I was like, Big Homs, please tell me something good because I'm about to go see them tonight. They didn't even know I'm coming, mm -hmm. even though I know Zade, very great guy. He's a great guy. Great guy. Shout out to the spot. Very great guy. You got you to try it out. I have. Yeah. Um, so when I, I pulled up back to him, I mean, I tasted him and... I was just talking to uh, Big Hams. Big Hams was saying literally, he's like, Yaqeen, you should go try Paco Stagos. You don't even know they changed. I was like, see, that's that, that's what they call a rajal. He's a man that he's a man that made them change. That's what I want to see. I'm not doing this based off other people and how they feel. I'm doing it based off, hey, trying to build yourself, make yourself better. If you're already A1, you A1. But you know what's good about that? Receiving the feedback, being open to receiving feedback, being coachable. Yes. And that's what you learn when playing sports. And I'll save that for later, but that's so important. If you, if you see me drop a ball, everyone sees me drop the ball. What am I going to do about it next time? Yeah. But the cool thing is when you play a team sport, you got your teammates saying, yo, Ziz, you can get it next time. Quarterback does the same thing with you next time you catch the ball. Constant feedback loop when you play sports. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great point. I mean, I, that's why you say you save it for later. That's a whole other topic about sports and all the lessons that it can teach you, man. Uh, but shout out to these guys, man. And special shout out also to Kenny the Food Panda because not only he came here and spoke, he just showed me something I didn't even know my couches can do, man. Now I see why you're sitting yeah, up man. all straight. It, it can come up like that yeah, too, man. Like that, this, whole, this whole time I've been sitting up limping. And this um, one, oh. Is it doing it or oh, not? Hey, my man. No, leave it alone. Where do you buy these from? <laughs> leave it alone. Uh, uh, Where do you called? buy these from, bro? It was uh, Facebook Market, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, all jokes aside, uh, leave it. Let me be mad for a couple of years. I now. wish. I wish you sat on this side because now I feel messed up because now whoever sits on this chair, you're gonna be a good chilling. Sit. Chilling. You're sitting on this side. Yeah. Now. <laughs> hey, uh, no, all jokes aside, these guys right here, man, I appreciate them. Uh, for coming on here today, you know, just share their two cents about the stuff that they're doing. They're doing great work in the community. And, we, you know, good or bad review, you guys are doing community work and community service and uh, helping people. Really, I'm all jokes aside, this is the new way of finding out what you want to go eat. And, you know, everybody wants to go out to eat at least once a week. So, um, you know, people want to eat something different or find something different or support other businesses. And these guys do a great job of that. I'm going to let you guys say our final word. Before I do that, though, want to say it again. Be sure to follow us on all of our socials. You have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok all under Oz Media. You'll be able to listen to the show later on Apple and Spotify podcast under Oz Media. Uh, again, you know, be sure to follow us. Shout out to the sponsors, the Balkan House, Juice Box, Kava House, BC Adhesive, Specialty Medical Center, Hanley International Academy, and Sid Bees. We appreciate them and all of their support. You know, Brother Aziz, I know you're in the back. You'll have your own separate show. But any final words, final comments you want to give it out there to the people out there that are listening? Love what you do. That's what I picked up on. That's my takeaway. And love what you're doing. Love what you're doing. I'm, I just met these guys for the first time, and I love the passion and the energy. Appreciate it. And um, it fires me up. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I agree. Man. Big Homs, final words, final comments, man. Uh, your boy Big Homs, always honest, never bullshit. 
follow me on uh, my socials, please, and try to give me like twelve thousand at least. Let them know what your socials are, man. Let them know. Big Hams Reviews on Instagram and uh, before the, uh, on TikTok, Big Hams Reviews, and then my podcast called Talk <laughs> on YouTube. Talk to me. Yeah. So Big Hams Reviews, Instagram and TikTok, and then Talk to me on YouTube podcast. Uh, we're gonna get, show you how to get on Apple and Spotify as well. A uh, very simple thing to do. I'm just gonna show you all that as well. Kenny the Food Panda, talk to us, man. Kenny the Food Panda here. You know anyone that has a restaurant that you want me to try, holla at me, let me know. Um, and that's all I gotta say. But wait, wait, there's one more thing. Please, guys, uh, don't forget faith. Allah comes first. Um, uh, Alhamdulillah for everything that we have. Yeah. Uh, God is great, and uh, that's it. I hope you guys said Bismillah before we ate. By the way, I don't think I did, man. I just went straight to eating the cupcake. Couple, a couple things. So Bismillah wal akhirin. Yes, exactly. So on, on two of the things. <laughs> Hamza T, close us out. Hamza, what you got for us? Man, it was an honor having you guys, especially former NFL star and you know two food review legends. Man, I appreciate it, and I appreciate you guys for. Having all the reviews so I could get, eat good food, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. A big, big shout out also to Oz Media. Media Check them out. Sure. I promise you guys you'll never be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Come anytime you guys need any type of device, these are the guys to come to. Appreciate you, Yaqeen. And again, thank you all that are in the studio today. Little Big Bro Yusuf Ramsey also in the back, always helping out on the ones and twos. Uh, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. This was season three, episode 28 of the Movement Podcast. Movement. The Movement Podcast. We are officially live. Shout out to Hamza. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we'll be back again on Wednesday. We'll be back again on Wednesday. We'll have Yasmin and Ibrahim Hamid. Uh, for those of you that are out there, you guys know the story about, uh, you know, we're going to be talking about uh, disabilities in our community and why it's such a taboo topic. So looking forward to that conversation. Uh, again, have a great rest of your week. It's the draft week too. NFL draft. If you're at home, I'm telling you, man, you know, we had a meeting beforehand this is this is probably the biggest event in the state of Michigan from my lifetime, at least, man. And it's not just the biggest sporting event. It's the biggest event. It's about to be packed in this area. Uh, you know, food reviews. This is a good time for y'all to go to places and get your reviews in and then go to places that people can go to for the draft. You know, I believe that would be a good idea uh, to recommend some places because a lot of people are going to be coming from um, all over the country. So, Again, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you all next.